No, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. What we're going to do is a route here at Barnet. You've never been to Barnet before. We're doing a semi-informal kind of mock test on this one. That means if Levine, our lovely student today, would like to ask any questions about any of the junctions, I'm going to give a straightforward answer. We did explain that to you. The examiners wouldn't. They'll just tell you left or right, but not necessarily how to move the vehicle or do a certain junction. Okay. All right. We're going to start with the tell me question, just like a real driving test. Would you be able to tell us about the power steering and how we would check to see if it's working? You just move the wheel left and right and it should feel like slidey. No good. Yeah, that's it. Nice and easy. Cool. All right. Uh, we'll do our show me question a little bit later. Do you remember how to turn on the dipped beam headlights? Because I don't know if yeah we covered it too, too much. Yes. It is just a little bit more on the edge. That's it. You got it. Brilliant. Fantastic. All right, I'll do that a little bit later for your show me question. Mm -hmm. Unless you have any questions, drive on when you're ready. We're just going to go towards the end of the road. Sat now will give you directions and good luck. After 100 yards, turn right, Radine Road. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. Turn right, then, at the end of the road, turn left. Good observations. Turn left, A1000. Great North Road. And then just try to accelerate as hard as you can. It's very tricky because we can't see. So what I'd suggest is edge up that little bit more and stop just to see that little bit more and then make a decision. Okay, so that must turn us to go straight. Now, A1000 will be the right lane, so if it's safe, we'd like to use the right lane. Excellent. There's a big sign here that says A1000, and I think it says A1000 on the road as well. So if the examiner says A1000, you'll know it's the right lane. If you get stuck in the left only lane, don't panic, just turn left of the traffic light. The examiner will give you a new direction. Okay? No signs, 30. Two lanes, now that we've passed the traffic light where the A1000 sign is. Notice the vehicles are undertaking us on the left. We would like to be on the left so that they can overtake. After 800 yards, keep left. So that's a, a big deal. Mm -hmm. So once we use the right lane to go A1000, and it becomes two lanes straight again. The left. Correct. So we do still have a chance to try and make our way across when it's safe. Try not see. Have a look at the orange lines. As long as the vehicle's beyond the orange lines, it's a safe distance. The orange lines for everyone at home is just when we signal. There's these little orange lines that come up on the camera, aka mirror, and those are for judging distance. So 
maybe I can show those to you. Did you did you notice the orange lines? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. That makes All right. Sense. Nice. So this is the whole A1000 route, just pretty straight. After 200 yards, keep left, then bear left. Keep left, then bear left. So there's no bears, we're just going to be following the road. There's a college here, and you can see it's quite busy around here with the shops in the college. It can be quite slow moving, and plenty of pedestrians. Bit further ahead, we have double roundabouts, twin roundabouts. The sat nav is not great at giving the directions of the roundabouts, so the examiners will give us the directions. I'll do the same when we get closer. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, the avenue. We're doing the right at the roundabout, and then at the second roundabout, turn left. So first roundabout, turn right, second roundabout, turn left. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, the avenue.
After 200 yards, turn left, A1081, St. Albans Road. Can I use the camera? Of course you can, yeah. That's lovely. After 50 yards, turn left, A1081, St. Albans Road. saw it yes good so a single carriageway is a maximum of 60. yes correct don't have to do 60 well, let's see if we could get 45 maybe maybe 50 depends on the conditions but it looks pretty decent at the moment straight road pretty good road surface as well um, nice spacing After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Dancers Hill Road. Now the situation changes the space.
risky, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So remember less space, slow down a lot earlier because mm -hmm. we're stopping in the junction rather than before it. Mm -hmm. You'd want to clear the junction. As well. After 200 yards, turn right, Kits End Road. Turn right on the road. Do I need to still drive at 60? So slow doesn't mean slow. Slow means hazard. Mm -hmm. So you could, you see like here, so slow, slow, slow. Mm -hmm. Because there's a junction coming up. So do you need to slow down? Not necessarily. Do I still need to do 60? Maybe. It does, depends on the sort of hazard. So it could say slow here and you see the hazard would be that bend there. So I don't know, is it that big of a bend? How wide is the road? The conditions? If they're all tick 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 then we can stay at 60 even though it says slow. It could be just a hill as well. Like there's a hill so it's so slow just before the hill. It might just be a tiny little hill we can actually maybe see over it. Yeah? So yes, try to keep the speed up. 45 if you can, no slower, uh, unless you reach junctions obviously, or there's hazards. too much past the van and then you've got a bend there as well right so maybe 30 here would be maximum at least until we can see it straight so, all right there now we can go 35 maybe 40 but as you can see more hazards coming up bends and we're reaching the end of the road as well so probably might start decreasing our speed here because we're starting to get towards the end of the road after 300 yards, turn right, A1000, Hadley Heiston, then take the third left. Turn right, then take the third left. put that sign there honestly <laughs> that's the worst place they could have possibly put that sign <sighs> wait okay deep breath Scott after 200 yards turn left Dury Road See how we're coming into these situations a bit quick? Yeah. Because we're stopping here and people 
don't really have a lot of room then. So try to stop early when we see these situations, a bit like the one we had earlier on that road with the guns. Gives us more room as well, so it's helpful for us just as much as it's helpful for your coming traffic. to use the sat nav as an aid so <clears throat> what I mean by that is when it gets down to like a hundred start to break and get towards jogging speed so when we reach about 60 yards from the junction after 300 of yards speed. turn left Clifford Road yeah move your foot to the brake you see you've got an accelerator you've got a van coming towards you and look how narrow it's getting you're going to the accelerator. Keep your foot on the brake. More brake, more brake, more brake. More. I said jogging speed. Oh, in the way. Okay. This is a dead end. So. And there's road markings uh, just there. So we, we crossed over into a dead end road. Following the road is just like the traffic behind us. And if you have a look at the blue line, mm -hmm. can you see how it bends? If we were going straight, the blue line would go straight. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go down. I've never been down here before, so thanks for showing me a new area. I always like to learn new areas. And we're just going to try and find somewhere to turn around. Oh, looks like it might be a car park. This would be interesting. I go all the way down. Yeah. So, see so you <laughs> downhill, car coming towards you, you went to the accelerator. Turn around know. when There's possible. There's not a lot of room down there, so see the space we've got here? We call these passing places. So when you're on the country lane and there's no pavements, mm -hmm. country lanes, no pavements, you might see these gaps on the left where people pull in, and then we can pull in there and just allow oncoming traffic to pass. Alright, so yeah, so just have a look ahead, if you see there's a car and it's very narrow, try not to accelerate into that situation, try to slow. So this opened up quite a lot of room here on the right. So if you turn to the right, and we're just going to this section over here on the right, and we should be able to turn around safely in there. Because there's other vehicles using this road, so let's go into this sort of car park. Thank you. And then if you just use the space down here at the end, or somewhere here in the middle maybe, to try and turn the vehicle. Around. Just avoiding all these big holes from there. Thank you. So, yeah, however you'd like to turn the vehicle around, we'll just try and turn around. Might go in there. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good observations, lovely.
Turn left, Hadley Wood Road. safe would like to show us how you would open and close one of your driver's side windows. Very good. I believe when we looked down we may have started to try a little bit to lift. Would you like to try that again without looking? Much better. Yeah, car stayed very straight there. After 100 yards, turn left, Hadley Road, then turn left. Turn left, then turn left. Do you see this car coming? Mm. No. Mm. So it was a junction with giveaway lines. You need to slow down, check, see if it's safe. Linger. Turn left, Clifford Road. Turn left here. And just like the previous student, which just passed, nerves cause us to rush junctions. We don't mean to do it, it's just that we're really nervous and it's the big day. So what I would suggest is the secret to passing your driving test today is to do your junction slow. After 100 yards, turn right, Tudor Road. Turn right. Look at the sound nerve. <clears throat> this is 110 minutes, and you've got black line. And we're just trying to follow the blue line. After 80 yards, turn left, Woodville Road. Turn left. After 100 yards, turn right, Potter's Road, then turn left. Good news. Turn right, then turn left. Mm-hmm. 
Tell me this little opportunity there. Turn left, Potter's Lane, then take the second left. If you just pull up on the left somewhere here, from my place. You can get past the junction if you want to. It's fine. It's somewhere anywhere there. Park's good, but you feel it roll, right? Yeah. So you can apply the handbrake if we're on the hill, and it will just give us that added security. Right, remember, it's just part of the test, pulling up on the left at least three times. I was very scared we were going to hit the pavement. One second. All right, take your time when you're ready, drive on, and just continue to follow sat-nav. Uh, almost finished now, just about six minutes, and we'll do a manoeuvre to finish up. Just be this next After way. 80 yards, turn left, King Edward Road, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right. Turn right, Prospect Road, then turn left. And if you just find a safe place to pull up on the left again for me, please. Don't like any of these spaces here. What were you thinking about? I don't know the... Turn left, Abbott's Road. Trees are good. Yeah, trees usually get raised curved by the trees. Nice. Okay. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on. Remember, the examiner's going to ask us to pull up at least three times on the left. Okay. Just to see the mirror signals, how we pull up, where we pull up, yeah, and then how we drive off afterwards, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you're ready and safe, drive on. Daydreaming a little bit at the moment. Probably nerves, you know, probably panicking, some internal monologues going on, yeah? Turn right, Abbott's Road. So just try not to overthink it. Take a few deep breaths. And the reverse thing as well. I'm not sure if you saw the reverse of that song, so they could suddenly come back towards us there. All right, just take this next left here for me, please. be a good opportunity to pull up somewhere safe on the left again for me please. I 
Okay, it's a little bit wide. The yellow line's not quite on the edge of the pavement, so it might be a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to do the reverse park exercise, parallel park, some people will call it. So I'm going to ask you to use the blue car in front. So if you'd move out and stop parallel with the blue car, then just reverse park. Don't worry too much about the driveway on this occasion. And if you have any questions, just... What the... <laughs> okay, just ask please thank you when you're ready drive on and reverse park with the blue car sometimes they will yeah that means there's not enough space so if we continue it will make more room and then once they have room just watch they'll probably try to go around us so at that point we can stop and just let them go around us if they try to go around us that's so lovely so you see how you've just stayed still and allowing these vehicles just to pass yeah oh killed a cat they give it to you mm. but you can see it's just not quite on the edge it's more like on that stone in the gutter so we really try and get it right on the edge yeah right on that stone there that gray one mm. and then we'll be a bit closer okay all right um remember those observations really do keep them going i'm not saying you're not doing them but it's so important a lot of people forget when they just look here because they're so yeah. focused on that and then yeah they fell for the observations just mean make sure we keep doing those observations right um take your time when you're ready and it's safe drive on and just continue to follow sat nav only five minutes left we'll be back at the test center okay After 100 yards, 
turn right, Warwick Road, then, at the end of the road, turn right. This is what I'm talking about, well done with your speed. You see if we approach these situations at these type of speeds, mm. it's a lot more manageable, you know, safe. Just taking this road here. Turn right, then, at the end of the road, turn right. You didn't do anything wrong, I just didn't want to make the decision for you because there were mixed messages going on with the other drivers. Mm -hmm. Did you hear? Yeah. yeah. He was kind of confused with us, and the other lady was confused with him. So I didn't After 300 yes yards, yeah. turn left, A1000, Great North Road, then turn right. The only reason why I say that is because if that situation came up on the real test, the examiners would stay quiet. They'd probably just say, do whatever you think is the safest thing to do. You can squash the gun. <laughs> Paper gun. All right, uh, there's a little one-way road. Left, you might see the one-way right. arrows just here on the left by the shops. If we could just turn left into this tiny little one-way. After 90 yards, you have reached your destination on your left. Lovely positioning. Did they flash? I don't know, did they flash your lights? Yeah? Alright. Sometimes people might let us out, so if you feel it's safe, and it's for you, and then you can go. Alright, now we're not going in the car park, but you could imagine the examiner might just ask you to turn there and go into the car park. At the end of the road, turn left, please. Thank you. Good observations. And would you just pull up on the left here? Don't worry about the driveways, just anywhere, it's fine. See if we can use that yellow line, maybe, position it on the curb. Good with your speed, it's all about the baby crawling speed. You got it. All right, fantastic. Nice. And then just push the power button for us and we'll power down. Right, that is the end of a semi informal mock test. Um, you've already got the gold medal. Yeah? So I'm going to give you a bronze medal today just because you don't have it. All right. Um, we had one highlight on that route, and that was just the bit where we had like the cones. Do you remember there was yeah. like cones on the kind of country lane road? And we'd want to approach a situation like you're doing now at the end of this route, uh, just slower. Mm -hmm. So if we do 
if we are able to see it, we do see it early, um, then just try to slow down early, and then that way there's more room for you, more room for the other cars. That was it, really. That was sort of the major part there, okay? Um, minor parts would be uh, just the first junction, Peep and Creep. So as we came out onto the main road, just at the beginning, yeah. uh, we've got these vehicles sort of obstructing our vision, our view of the road. And if we can't see, like if we were walking in between two cars, yeah. just kind of walk up to the edge of the cars, poke your head out, so lean forwards and just look. And if we can't see anybody, then we go. But otherwise we're just running a risk of maybe there's someone there. Mm -hmm. So just go out as far as you can to see if someone's there and, and then you know and then if it's safe we can go yeah. so just yeah take your junctions a little bit slower yeah. peep and creep lean and look uh we've got the normal drive in a1000 so we did use the right lane to go to a1000 so that was at the beginning and then that one right lane that goes straight multiplies it turns into two do you remember we were trying to yeah, get yeah, back yeah. over we had a couple of cars pass us on the left that could be a major because it's undertaking. Ideally, the examiners want us to be back on the left so that people overtake. Mm -hmm. If they undertake us, we could get marked down. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, last we've got uh, some signals going on and staying on. Mm -hmm. So just make sure they cancel. And then a couple of junctions we've just seen on the sat nav. Oh, I'm going here. Signal yeah. on. Whoa, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Wouldn't do that on the test personally. I'd just drive straight past it. And the set level reprogram on the exam will give you new directions, not a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than sudden movements, mm -hmm. just a little bit vulnerable. I did that one with my daughter last night, scared the life out of her. <laughs> she goes, Daddy, car wash. I said, Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I checked my mirrors first, I signaled, I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I could see there was no one behind me. Mm -hmm. But it still didn't feel good. You know, and I think it almost scared her a little bit. I did tell her, I said, Joy's, we're all right. I've checked my mirrors, the signal, I'm going to go now. But it's going to be a bit quicker. But she went quiet. It wasn't like, wee, that was fun. It was like, holy, what just happened, you know? So not normal for me to do something like that. It really isn't, I'm being honest. Um, I tried to avoid those situations, but this car really needed a car. <laughs> Moving on. Um, all right. Lastly, uh, that's it. That's it. Done. We talked about the meeting situation was just down here at the bottom. Okay. Any questions? And not why is the car so dirty? Because we all know why now. Um, do you think that's going to be the boot? Yeah, I do. It's weird. All right. So remember, if it is, just let me know. I will ask you at the end anyways. That's just a keepsake, yeah? Okay. you got both now, complete the set. Uh, and um, if it is, then I'm playing the lottery. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, any other questions? You know those country looking roads that are 60? Yes. Is it safe to go? No. 45 felt safe enough. And when you reach 45, the cars are being left behind. Mm -hmm. So the people behind us weren't even doing 45. Okay, so they won't overtake? <sighs> no, I think 45 is safe enough on those long straight bits. Mm -hmm. 45 felt good. Um, it's a lot of the time this is common. 60 is dangerous on roads like that, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, it's the maximum speed limit. But try going 60 miles around the corner we can't see. Or down even a narrow road with a lorry or a van or whatever coming towards us. It's, mm -hmm. it's intense. You know, you'd have to be, you know, well above my pay grade, rally car driver type of status. You know, like world professional mm -hmm. champion rally car driver to try and do a bend like that at 60 miles an hour. There's no chance I'm doing that. Um, so no, uh, don't do 60 miles an hour. Um, do what you feel you're safe at, okay? And if you can, that's why I asked, how do you feel at 45? Do you remember when mm -hmm. we were doing that? I was like, how do you feel? Is that all right? And you were kind of like, yeah, it's all right. So I don't want to, if I felt like you didn't want to go faster than mm -hmm. that. And I was kind of like, yeah, I feel the same. So yeah, I think 45 for people watching this, you know, 45 just be a nice little tip for them. I think it's decent, okay? I don't feel like the examiners would want us to go faster because if I felt like you went faster on that road, I felt I felt, feel, feel too fast. It felt dangerous for those conditions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good question. You got any more? 
Not at the moment. moment. All right. If they come to you later, just ask me. Um, but I, I believe that just leaves me to say thank you to you for sharing. It's nice stuff that, that people can see and work on for themselves. So, yeah, thanks to you, Levine. Um, everyone's wishing you the best of luck, I'm sure. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go to some stuff, private practice. We've got a little bit more time. And then if any of those questions come up, we can ask them in the meantime. But thank you to you. Uh, thank you to everybody. Don't forget to like. Yeah, please. Levine's shaking her head saying, uh, yep. don't like, don't like. Don't, <laughs> don't look. And on that bombshell, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.